Hey guys, it's Tori. So today we are doing a book haul slash my TBR cart. So I just recently got one of those little book carts that everybody loves. I got mine from Target. So I'm going to show you guys me setting it up and what my current TBR is. If you don't know, this whole bookshelf is technically a TBR bookshelf. But I picked out all of the books that I want to read like right now for fall and winter and cozy time and just ones that I've been like dying to read. So with all that being said, we are going to get into the haul portion and then we will set up my TBR cart. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and check out all my links down below and let's get started. So all of these books I either got from Book Talk or BookTube, which is the book lover side of TikTok and the book lover side of YouTube. I've been really obsessed with watching booktubers recently. I have found so many new ones that I absolutely love. So most of these books are from social media. So let's get into them. I have a bunch and I have so many more in my Amazon cart that I want to buy that I'm just waiting for either for like my birthday or something I don't know my birthday is right around the corner I am a Scorpio so if any of you are Scorpios let me know down below but now let's get into the haul portion so the first book is the Song of Achilles this is by Madeline Miller this is like literally so hyped up the person who I hear the most talk about it is steph boyer she's on youtube and tiktok i love her she's literally so pretty and i'm just obsessed with her she has really really good book recommendations so this is one that she recommended that i picked up i think at walmart is where i found this i wasn't gonna like actively buy it i had my eye on it but i went to walmart one day and it was there so i was like okay put it in the cart and the exact same thing happened with this next book, which is Daisy Jones and the Six. This is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one is literally so, so hyped up. Like, a ridiculous amount of hype, which almost makes me not want to read it. But at the same time, it has to be really good if it's that hyped up by that many people. This one is about, like, a band. And I don't even know. I think it's based in the 60s or something. But I've heard a lot about this book. And then another Taylor Jenkins read book. This one I definitely want to read before the other one. It's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. You guys have definitely seen this everywhere. This was circling TikTok probably about two or three months ago. And I've had it for a while. A lot of these books I've had for a while. But I haven't. I've been in a really bad reading slump. Like really, really bad. Once I finish filming this video, I'm going to sit my ass down and read a book because I've been in such a bad reading slump and I have so many books that I want to read and I just can't. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just cannot get myself to read. So this is definitely one I want to read. This is about a woman and she's getting interviewed and she tells her like life story basically. But I'm really, really excited to read it. It is based in like old Hollywood if I remember correctly, but I think it sounds really good and it's fiction but it's also kind of on like the realm of um like historical fiction so i think that this sounds really good the next book is she's thick thick this is things we never got over i heard there is a second one in the making of this right now but this is a romance of course most of these probably are romance because that's kind of my genre but i have been wanting to get into the like mystery thriller slash fantasies a little bit so i do have a few of those in here and i have a few that i want to purchase but this one i don't really exactly know what it's about if i'm honest i think it's a small town romance i believe so if you like that trope definitely grab this one it is thick though like very thick but the words are not too small they're like a good size and i think there's like 500 pages almost 600 pages in this book so that's a very thick book this is one that you have to really commit to i feel like but i'm excited about that this one i have heard very mixed reviews on it but i really excited to read it so it is magnolia parks by jessa hastings this one is supposed to be like 
if Gossip Girl was in London is what I've heard. Um, if you don't know, I literally love Gossip Girl so much. It is so good. But it's basically supposed to be like a super, super toxic romance couple story. And then the second one, I believe, is about their friends or her sister or something. And then there's a third one that's back to being about the original couple. But it's supposed to be very Chuck and Blair. So very like, I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you. But I'm super excited to read this one. Um, she's also kind of thick. She's heavy. And the words are, once again, not too small. So I'm definitely very excited to read this one. Next, we have a book that has been on my TBR. Not even that I've had it for a long time, but just like my mental TBR for literally months. And I definitely want to buy the second book. And there, there's like two or three series in here that I just want to buy all of them. Even though I haven't read the first one, I just want to have them all. But this is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is supposed to be a little more smutty, I believe. It's like a rich boy romance type of thing. I believe the second one is bodyguard romance. And this one I think is a boss and employee kind of romance. But I think it just sounds so good. And it's been on my TBR for so long. There's a couple in here that I'm like itching to read, but I gotta get out of my reading slump. And maybe it's just the books I've been reading is why I'm in a slump, but once I set up my TBR card, I'm gonna get my ass rolling and I have so many more books I wanna buy. But this sounds really good. The second one is Terms and Conditions. Um, definitely will be buying that one. I think it might be in my cart already. If not, it's in my Amazon storefront. And I do have a TBR list on my Amazon storefront of books that are on my TBR that I haven't bought yet. So as I buy them, I take them off and put new ones on. So if you do want to see what some of my other TBR books are, go check out my Amazon storefront. It is linked down below. And I have some of my five-star reads on there. I have makeup, fashion, all kinds of different things. But this sounds literally so good. Next is Funny You Should Ask. If I remember correctly, this might have been a... The mailman's here, dropping off my H&M package. Anyways, if I do remember correctly, this is a this was a Wattpad book. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember. But it is like this girl interviews and or meets her celebrity crush like a long, long time ago. And they have like a really good day together or something. And then they meet again and they ended up falling in love, I believe. So it is a like celebrity crush romance type of thing i think this sounds really good i'm obsessed with the cover it's literally so freaking cute like how could you not love that but very excited to read that one and it's a shorter read so maybe something like that would be good to get me out of my reading slump i don't know this one i have been watching reading vlogs on this which have like sort of spoiled it but sort of not at the same time because since i have absolutely no clue what's going on I, it's like one of those types of series of videos that I like put on in the background as I'm like online shopping or doing something else you know so I haven't really been paying attention so I honestly don't really have any clue what the spoilers in the ones that aren't spoiler free are but this is Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie I think is how you pronounce that and it says two best friends liars lovers addicts one epic love story this is the Addicted slash Callaway Sisters series, so it, I believe has 10 books. So you're supposed to read the first three of the Addicted books, and then I think two or three Callaway Sisters books, and then you finish off again with the Addicted series. So it's like this whole series that's combined between two different stories, but they're all the same characters. And there's a few novellas, I believe, that kind of like give you background information. I've heard the first and second one aren't the best. They're more like three, four star reads. And then the fourth book is a five star. Like it is just top freaking notch. Apparently the first and second book are a lot of backstory to kind of set the whole scene for everything else coming. Which obviously when they decided to do this big series, they knew they were going to do it like that. But very excited. I think that this is going to be super, super good. This is one of the series that I want all of them. Like this in the fine print. And there's two more that I'm like, I want them all. Like I want them right now, even though I haven't started the first book. The next book, also the first book in a series. This is Twisted Love 
by Anna Huang, I think is how you say that. Do not get mad at me if I'm wrong. But it says he has a heart of ice, but for her, he burned the world. So this is book one. I believe there's four of them and I have tried to buy them all, but it's either the second or the third one I can't find literally anywhere. So I don't know if I just need to go to Barnes and get it. This one is supposed to be super good. I don't really know what it's about, but I have a friend. Bailey is joining us. I have a friend who's currently reading the series and I've heard so many good things about it. So I'm very excited about that. The last series in this haul, actually that's a lie, I have, I have one more. Apparently and there's a lot of series I really wanna start. This is Akatar, and if you don't know what that is, it's A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, this is a fantasy romance. This is reaching into the fantasy realm that I've never touched base with before. But when I tell you, I'm so excited. These books, everyone says they're so thick, but it is not nearly as thick as some of like Magnolia Parks. That one is so thick, like so heavy. This has just over 400 pages and the words are a little smaller. There are five books in this series and one of them is a novella if I remember correctly and I'm very excited to read it I do have the second one which you guys will see very soon but I think that this is gonna be a really really good read once again I've heard that the first and second ones are like three four star reads and then the third one is like a five star super super good type of thing but I'm very excited about this Next, this is a book I do already own, but this is the collector's edition and it has a new chapter in it, which is why I just want to reread the whole thing. And I I bought it, of course. It's Verity by Colleen Hoover. Where I have read this one. I read this in one sitting. I was on a road trip and I finished it in like five or six hours of the road trip. So very good. This is more of a mystery romance. It's about this woman named I think it's Lowen, if I remember correctly. I haven't read it in months, but I think her name's Lowen. And this husband asks her if she will finish off the series that his wife is writing. She got in like a really bad accident and she like can't write it anymore, but he wants it to be finished. And she has like all of the outline and the monologue and everything like already done she just has to basically like finish them off and put them together but while she's writing these books and she's staying in Verity and her husband's house she learns that there's like a lot more going on and that Verity basically is like really manipulative and a liar and she's done a lot of bad shit that she didn't tell anybody about this is so good so good if you need like a jump into mystery but nothing too too much to start with this is a very good starting spot and if you also want to kind of get into Colleen Hoover's books definitely this one I would recommend this maybe someday and Ugly Love are my top three Colleen books and a lot of people don't agree with that Confess is like right up there too but I personally think that It Ends With Us is so over so so overhyped i want to get the pink special collector's edition of it and reread it that is on my list of things to buy but i have so many other books to get through first so this one also it starts with us comes out in a few days i pre-ordered mine months ago it should be here in just a few days carrying on with colleen i believe this is my last colleen no it's not it's a lie i have two Colleen books left. This is Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover. This is the book I'm currently reading and I barely have started it. I sat down and read like two or three chapters one night and haven't touched it since. And the fact that Maybe Someday is my second favorite Colleen book of all time, you'd think I'd be eating this up. But I just have been in such a bad mental reading slump. Like I want to, but I can't physically get myself to read and I don't know why. But this is the second, actually, technically it's the third, but the second book to this little series is from a different perspective and a completely different couple. So I don't really know if it has anything to do with this one, but this one starts right where maybe someday stops. Like this starts off right where the other one ends. So it's like no time has passed in between that book and this book. So 
I'm going to read this. I pre-ordered it. It was at my house the day that it launched. So, I'm going to I'm going to read it. I'm going to get my shit together and I'm going to read this. I'm going to read tonight. I'm going to read tomorrow morning and I'm going to take this to my boyfriend's house with me so that I can force myself to read. It's going to happen. I promise. The last Colleen book is Layla. This one I bought because I've heard so many good things about this being a good fall read. I believe it's a small town romance. And it's also, I believe, a mystery thriller. So the cover is very fall-esque slash creepy. Like, I don't know who's standing there. I think a bad guy. I don't know. Something happens to Layla and we're going to find out in here. But I'm very excited. Very excited to read this. Next is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. I did not read the first one that everyone was obsessed with by her. I got this one instead of that one and I don't even remember what it's called. The Love Hypothesis. That's the first one. It's not like a series or anything it's just supposed to be super similar to that one but I like the cover on this one a lot more because it's pink and it's pretty so that's why I got this one instead but apparently they're like very very similar so I probably won't get the other one since it's supposed to be so similar to this but it's like a science romance slash enemies to lovers slash work lover type of thing I don't know it sounds good I'm excited next is the second book in the Akatar series this is a court of mist and fury um i believe i got this one on target i got a few of these books literally like two days ago because target had a buy one get one 50 off all books so i of course placed an order and that's when i got my book book cart at the same time but this is the second book in that series i'm very excited it's a mist uh it's a court of mist and fury um I wanted to have the second one just in case I'm obsessed with the first one and instantly want to go into the second one because I definitely there's like five books in here that are like the top of like okay these are my next reads you know what I mean but I just wanted to have another one in the series. Next is Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. I have been watching Sarah here on YouTube. I don't remember her full YouTube name but I know her first name is Sarah but she has been obsessed with Alice Feeney recently and she said she's really really good for mystery thriller and um like fall vibes spooky vibes so if I remember correctly the main character in the book got in an accident and she's in the hospital and she can't talk open her eyes move nothing but she can hear and so all the people who come to visit her are constantly like talking to her and telling her like all their secrets and all this shit that she never knew and she's just finding out all this stuff about all the people who are in her life so i'm excited to read this one the last two books are once again a series these are by tessanja odette odette i hope i'm saying that correctly but I heard, I believe it was once again Sarah talking about this one. Uh, I think she did a blind date with books. That's how she read this one. But this is the second one. So I bought the second one and the first one. Because the first one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And Beauty and the Beast is my favorite of all um like disney princesses stories i love Belle so much so this first one is curse of the wolf king and just look at the packaging this is so beautiful the cover of these books are just stunning so i got this one because the second one's supposed to be good and beauty and the beast is my favorite so i was like okay we have to read that one first and then the second one is heart of the raven prince this one got kind of fucked up in shipping and it really really upset me because the pages were all messed up and my cover like i don't know what happened to it here but it's like creased and there's like marks on it but this is a cinderella retelling so they're like retellings entangled with fae i don't know what that means 
Like I said, I've never read fantasy and that's what this series is. So Akatar and this series are going to be the first fantasy romances that I read. But I'm once again very, very excited. It sounds very good. Just all around very excited to read these. So that concludes my book haul. I'm pretty sure there's probably a few more back here that I missed because it's been a really long time since I filmed a book haul. Um, it's not been a long time since I posted one because I filmed my first book haul like three months ago and it just hasn't gone up yet. But very excited about all these books. And now we're gonna get into organizing my TBR cart. And I'm probably going to put them in order that I want to read them. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then, of course, keep the series books together while we do that. But let's get into my book cart. Okay, so this is my book cart. I got it, like I said, from Target. It was $40. They had, like, white, pink, black, all different kinds of colors. But this is the one that I wanted because it's green. And it's not, like, green, green but it's like a tealy green and it matches my bedspread pretty well. So this is the one that I got. So I'm going to organize these in the order that I want to read them. So I'm going to have to make some decisions here, but I definitely think the series books are probably going to be first, except for Magnolia Parks. I think that's my next read after I finish maybe now and if I can't get into maybe now I'll just go into Magnolia Parks so I think I'm gonna go this way because that's like you know you read from left to right so I think I'm gonna go this way in the order that I want to read them and then I also have my policeman that I'm putting on there and then there's two other books that I'm putting on my TBR cart which is don't be in love this is a book that i bought based on the um like who it's dedicated to and it says for the romance readers who listen to taylor swift music obsessed over pride and prejudice and like to march as if we needed another romance this one i got way before it was all over tiktok um if you guys saw my i believe first moving vlog this was in that video in the haul portion and that one um I bought in July and then the last one that I'm putting on there that wasn't in my haul is Archer's Voice this one um everybody's obsessed with so of course I own it I just haven't read it so we're gonna start putting them in order of me reading them <laughs> Okay, so I think this is the order that I want them in and then obviously maybe now isn't going to go up there because it's my current read. So that one's just going to sit on my bedside table and I'm going to start that. Bales, nobody needs you to make a cameo. But I think this is my order and then your little schnout is in there. <laughs> but then I think I'm just going to get a few of my fake plants I have put away right now because I have all my fall decor out and put them here. And then at the bottom, I just have um, the ghosts and pumpkin Reese cups because those are my favorite. And then I have just a few candles and I have a bag of pistachios because those are like my favorite snack. So I think this is what I'm wanting. And then I'm going to get a few of my fake plants to just throw like right here and down here. But this is definitely going to fill up fast because there's like five or six books I really, really want to get right now. And then depending on how reading these series go... I'm going to keep adding to it and then there is definitely room in the back to either do a second like I don't know if they could all fit like this possibly to do a second row behind it or to turn them a different way but there is definitely lots of room in the back to add more books and then obviously the bottom shelf is open and we have half of this shelf open and I have a whole bookshelf of books I want to read but a lot of those are very summery and I didn't read them during the summer. I bought them a little too late. So I'm going to save them for spring slash summer and read these ones first. These are like my spooky fall cozy winter books for now. But that is my book haul slash my new TBR cart. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about books or you have any book videos you want, let me know down below. 
I am going to be doing a room tour and a makeup collection very soon. I know I've been saying it, but I still want a few more posters before I do my room tour. But I promise you it is coming. I promise you. So, with all that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Check out all of my links down below. I'll have my Amazon storefront, all my social medias, everything. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!